Hello, welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at the solution for question 6 of the January 2024 CSEC Mathematics Paper 2. We look at the question and we see some measurements here. We have two diagrams. Um, the diagram below shows a hemispherical bowl. Uh, hemispherical means that it's uh, like a half of a ball and um, a cylindrical tin. The diameter of the cylindrical tin is 12 centimeters. The height is 17 and the radius of the bowl is R. So that's what we have. And the first thing that we want to do is to show that the volume of the cylinder, the cylindrical tin is 1923 centimeter cube correct to four significant figures. So the first thing we want to note is that the volume of the cylinder is given as pi r square height. And so that's what we're going to use. We note that the diameter is 12. So the radius is going to be 12 divided by two, which is six. And we can just apply that information into the formula. So the volume is going to be equal to using pi as 22 over 7, 22 over 7, that's pi, times the radius square, the radius is 6, times the height of the cylinder, which is 17 centimeters. And pretty much punching this into a calculator, 22 times 6 square, 6 square is 36, times 17, all over 7 gives us 13,464. We divide it by 7, of course, and we get our number 1,923.4. And rounding this off to four significant figures, 1, 2, 3, 4, we have 1,923 centimeter cube. So we have shown that the volume of the cylinder is indeed 1923 centimeter cube correct to four significant figures. Let's look at the next part of the question. And the next part of the question says the bowl is completely filled with soup. That is this. This is our bowl. It is completely filled with soup. When all the soup is poured into the empty cylindrical container that is this so the soup is going to be poured in here um, 90 percent of the volume of the tin is filled calculate the radius of the bowl so um number of things that we need to do look at here the the volume of it's telling us that the volume of the bowl is 90 percent the volume of the cylinder so we take the volume of the of the cylinder that we just found a while ago, the volume was equal to 1,923 centimeter cube. That's what the volume was. Now we need 90% of this. And 90% of this, of course, you can write 90 over 100 times 1,923. And punching that into a calculator, it will give you 1,730. 0.7 so you could um, verify that and make sure that this is indeed 90 or you could just multiply it by 0 0.9 but either way you should get this as 90 percent of the of the volume of the cylinder that would be equal to the volume of the of the bowl all right now so what do we have we have here that the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cube but notice that we are dealing with a hemisphere here, which is half of this. So we need to divide this formula by 2. And dividing this by 2 gives us a formula that would say the volume of the... Let me just write it down here. The volume of the hemisphere, um, dividing this by 2, gives us 4 over 6, which we can simplify to 2 over 3. That's half of this, 2 over 3, pi r cube so what we know for sure now is that this represents the volume of the hemisphere and the volume of the hemisphere is 90 percent the volume of the cylinder which is this 
1730.7. Now, of course, we're going to use the same pi as 22 over 7, and we're going to try to calculate the radius of our the radius of our um for our bowl. So we can say 2 over 3 times 22 over 7 times r to the third power is equal to 1730.7 and this tells us that 44 r cube over 21 is equal to 1730.7 let's take this up here all right now so we can cross multiply here and we get that 44 r cube is equal to seven um, 21 times 1730.7 and from that we end up with r cube dividing by 44 there is equal to 21 times 1730.7 divided by 44 once you do that in your calculator you should get 826 approximately that 826 now the 826 is the cube of r so now we need to find the cube root of of um of of 826 so r is equal to square root sine with the three in there that's a cube root so you can locate that on your calculator and press 826 and this should give you approximately 9.38 which we can round off as 9.4 if you do not have cube root on your calculator you can use the general power button which comes in different forms um, some persons have it as x raised to a power like that or just this button and use one third as your cube root and it, it should give you um, the same result here but most calculators have a cube root sign so you should shouldn't have a problem locating the cube root sign on your calculator and that gives us the radius of our bowl of, of our hemispherical bowl moving on to the next part of the question here we have a diagram it says the diagram below shows points l m and n they're on the circumference of a semicircle with o um, as the center of the circle there and the radius of the circle is 18 and our job is to calculate the total shaded area for that we have on the diagram here that's the shaded here here, here and there now since it's a semicircle we can write down the area of a semicircle so the area of a circle area of a circle is given as pi r square um, but we do not need the whole circle we're dealing with half of the circle so it's pi r square divided by 2 now what is our radius here our radius is 18 and we're still using pi as 22 over 7 so our radius or our area can be calculated as 22 over 7 that's our pi times radius square radius is 18 so it's 18 square and of course all of this is divided by 2 and continuing down here we have 22 times 18 square divided by 7 and divided by 2 as well and that gives us um, actually when you work out the top part 22, 22 times 18 square it gives us <clears throat> 1000 divided by 7 or we'll just do the whole thing and, and get your answer out and that should give you 509 um, no need to split the division um, 509.1 so that's the total area of the of the diagram here including the 
shaded regions. So half of the circle is pi r squared divided by 2. This is your pi, that's your r squared. Multiply those two numbers, divide by 2, or write it out like this, and you get your 509.1 centimeters square, of course. <clears throat> Now we need to talk about the, the shaded area. So there is a triangle inside our diagram. And from what we know, since this is a semicircle, then this triangle here is right angle. But here is the height of the triangle. Or oh, we have a, a isosceles triangle here, um, split into two right angles. So since the radius is 18, then we know that the total base of the triangle here is 18 plus 18, which is 36. And our height is still the radius, which is 18. So using the formula, um, base times height divided by 2, we end up with 18 times 36, that's the base times the height, half of that, divided by 2, and that would give you 9 times 36. 2018 is 9, which gives us 324. Now the thing is, since we know the whole semicircle is 509, if we find the area of the triangle and subtract that, um, it would give us the shaded area. And that is the that is the plan that I'm working on right now. So we found the whole area. And we found we found we're finding the triangle right now. And then we're just going to subtract both areas. So to find the shaded area, what we do is that we take the area of the semicircle, which is the whole thing, 509.1 centimeters square. And we're going to subtract from that the area of the triangle here, which is 324 centimeters square. And that's a quick, easy calculator work. That, of course, gives you 185.1 centimeters square. So the shaded area would be this. And that brings us to the end of our question. Thank you so much for watching. If you need help with other stuff related to math and CXE, you can find a lot of that information on the website at csecmathtutor.com. Of course, if you haven't, um, if you know somebody who needs help with these kind of things, then please refer them to the website and so that so that they can benefit from it as well. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, continue to work hard.